I used to have this incredibly detailed Todoist account with 10 to 15 different projects. I'd spend more time organizing and managing my tasks than I actually did getting things done. This is a productivity red flag that I should have caught sooner. Because of that, I switched to Things 3 and did the exact same thing. Strike 2. There are many different schools of thought and a few different ways to set up a to-do list. You can do it by project, Kanban board, GTD, and more. I've been playing around with one I'm calling inbox-based task management. This is an organizer's worst nightmare. You are literally managing your tasks out of the inbox. When I finally got fed up with how things handles recurring tasks, I gave Apple Reminders another shot. And when I did, I decided I wanted to minimize the amount of project lists that I had and just run my day out of the inbox. Anytime a task popped up that I needed to do, I'd put it in the inbox. Every day when I was planning my day, I would look at the inbox, see what I have scheduled for the day already, and figure out what are the top priority tasks that I need to be doing for the day to be successful. If things that are lower priority on the list got scheduled and didn't get done, no big deal. We'll get to them another time. Now, I did create a few lists, things like weekly review that's a recurring task that I do every Sunday. I didn't want those tasks clogging my inbox because really, if I don't do them, if I miss a week or two of the weekly review, it's not the end of the world. I can and have gotten by without doing it. Similarly, with finances, I do a mid-month and end-of-month review that aligns with my pay periods. So I just wanted those to show up in the middle of the month, the 15th and the last day of the month. And if I get them done a few days early or a few days late, really doesn't affect my life in any meaningful way. So I ended up with two lists and an inbox full of tasks. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Bill. I'm a mechanical engineer and project manager with 10 years experience. I make videos about tech, productivity, and more. So if that sounds good to you, subscribe so you don't miss a new video and give this video a thumbs up if it provided you some value. This inbox-based task management worked well for me for about six months. Anything new that popped up, I needed windshield wipers for the car, needed to schedule furnace service for the house. These things went to the inbox and I'd schedule them on a day where I had time to get them done. Then one day, my wife and I decided to start a podcast. Shoot, this is its own project. It has its own tasks. It needs its own list. Soon enough, our grocery list was in reminders shared between the two of us as well. Okay, two more lists isn't that bad. And recently, I've had a whirlwind of creativity for this YouTube channel and created a Kanban style board specific to it as well. All right, inbox-based task management is out the window. But in all reality, I have about five lists. That's not too bad of a balance between, you know, still managing things in my inbox that aren't related to a project, but still need to get done. And it's not too much that I am losing tasks in lists during my weekly review and just adding crap into my task list that I think needs to be done and I think is a good idea to do, but isn't really driving my objectives forward. So if you're overwhelmed by the projects that you have and underwhelmed by the progress that you're making, I'd recommend maybe trying to get rid of your lists and manage your life out of the inbox for a little bit. It is a little bit chaotic compared to having a nice organized list where everything is supposed to live, but it's also quite freeing and you may see your productivity and your creativity increase by doing this. Ultimately, you should be trying to make the tool work for you rather than find the perfect tool. There is no perfect tool, and I found as seasons of life change, then my tools might change with it. I've tried to minimize the amount of times I jump around between tools. My to-do list and task managers are typically the one that gets thrown out first and are likely one of the only ones to change depending on the season that I'm in. In college and grad school, Todoist did great. I used that for five, six, seven years, something like that. And I just found that I wasn't really using all of the tools at my disposal in Todoist. So I was effectively paying for a subscription that I wasn't getting the most value out of. So I ended up heading back to Apple Reminders, a free, simple, built-in tool. And if you wanna hear about the rest of my simple Apple productivity setup, you can check out this video here. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Later.